today is Sensory Spectacles 6th anniversary and I just wanted to give you a little bit of our story so that you know where we've come from and hopefully where we're going to and what we're working on right now. So six years ago, so in 2014, on Autism Awareness Day, the 2nd of April, I set up an exhibition in London with some of my immersive learning environments to help create a better awareness of sensory processing difficulties. I was given a gallery space for a month for free, which was amazing. And during that month, I had so many visitors from all sorts of backgrounds, even people just walking past the street. It was in Southwark, which was just behind the Tate Modern, which was just a dream for me. And I had lots of parents, lots of teachers, lots of support workers, OTs, and they started conversations with me about, can I get this out into the public more? Can I get it to be part of training? And so during the next couple of years, I continued to contact people about understanding about sensory processing difficulties better, supporting organisations around the world, so in India and Africa, Dubai, and helping them to understand sensory processing difficulties better with some information that I had learnt from my Masters in Art and Science, where I specifically learnt and explored about the autistic sensory world, and that's how these immersive environments began. I started working with children and adults with sensory processing disorder. They gave me their insights, their descriptions, and I then started to create these immersive learning environments. That's how everything began. And this tiny ball started rolling and ended up becoming this big snowball to where we are now. So the next two years passed and in 2016, Sensory Spectacle then became full time and I started running lots of in-house training, lots of pre-planned workshops, created my YouTube channel where I have lots of videos explaining characteristics relating to sensory processing difficulties. I started to create guidebooks to help give out bits of information to different settings about different times of day and the way we can recognise characteristics. I was also commissioned by the Autism Show in London, Manchester and Birmingham to create our sensory classroom and that was the beginning of our fully immersive training. After that, we then worked with Queen's Mill School in London to create our sensory dining room training. Following on from that, we then created our Feel It, our Do It and our Know It workshop. We continued to create more books. We had sensory resources online and I also began running our Interact annual event. Interact was created because I'm really passionate about helping to support parents and support workers and teachers to feel confident and inspired to support students and children and adults sensory needs. So the day would be full of hands on practical learning so you can go home feeling confident about how to use that technique. I also started to run conferences as the years passed on, so a conference about interoception was first um, created in 2018. Also in that year, I set up online training to help reach a wider audience. I'd worked with SPD Star in America at one of their annual con congresses um, in 2018. And in 2019, everything continued. Now, if you are self-employed, if you are starting out as a business, believe me, the first two to three years, if you can get through them, then you know you've got something that people want and our people are learning from. I've been so overwhelmed in the last four years, let alone the last six years, of the encouragement I've received from members of the public, from parents, from professionals about how I've helped them to understand the needs of their child or the people that they're supporting. I absolutely love what I do. I will continue to provide free resources as well as resources to um, benefit everybody. So whether you are a sibling, whether you are a parent, carer, support worker, any professional, OTs, 
therapists. I want to be able to help as many people as possible understand sensory processing disorder better. I will be continuing to have online presence. So we have our Facebook page, our Instagram page, our Twitter page, which all have very different information. So make sure you follow us there. I've got hundreds of free videos on our YouTube channel, like I mentioned. If you search for Sensory Spectacle and subscribe, you'll see all of our video content there. And you'll also be alerted as to when I upload new videos. I love working with children and adults with sensory processing disorder too. They are my contribution team. They are the ones that make everything that I create. They share with me their insights, their descriptions, and they're so honest about the world around them. And I wouldn't be able to do this without them. So I'm so grateful that people are able to work with me on that. Currently, it is 2020 and we've just started Autism Awareness Month, I'm offering my training for free online and I'm also offering lots of discounts within the resources I have on my website. Just like always, you can contact me through my website sensoryspectacle.co.uk. Please do get in touch if you have any questions, but I hope that's been interesting for you to find out where we started and where we are now.